Hi guys, hope you are doing amazing thing today. Video we are going to test out few Nykaa makeup products. So I already have uh, tried and reviewed Nykaa's Skin Shield Foundation on my channel number of times and how much I love that foundation. So I thought while I'm doing one brand makeup series on my channel, I should pick Nykaa as well because Nykaa is a cruelty free brand and a lot of you wanted me to review cruelty free makeup products. So I have already moisturized my face and for priming I'm going to use Nykaa Prep Me Up Face Primer. So this is a silicone based primer. It feels pretty thick and silicone like. I generally uh, do not wear silicone based primers but Nykaa has only this primer available so I thought you know there is no choice. So let's try this one out. So my face is prepped. Uh, let's quickly move on to the foundation. And for foundation, I'm using Nykaa Skin Shield Anti Pollution Foundation in the shade True Toffee. About this foundation, this foundation is not new to my channel. I have used this foundation so many times. It is one of my favorite foundations of all times because this provides a very beautiful finish. This is supposed to be a demi matte kind of uh, formula, and it works really well on my skin. It looks very natural blends in really beautifully there are i think 14 shades available which is amazing for an indian brand i think for a homegrown brand 14 shades are really good i know they should add more shades but they have done a good job so i have took out around a pea size and you can see i have still this much left so i'm not going to load my face up with foundation because i don't think i need much my face looks pretty nice with this amount of foundation I think. So Nykaa doesn't really have a concealer so I picked their stick foundations in two shades 04 and 07. So 04 I'm going to use under my eyes and 07 for contouring or bronzing. It looks like a nice match. I mean I can I think I can use it as my concealer because it's not too light under my eyes. I think it looks pretty nice it has covered really nicely and it's not too light so I am happy about the color selection see I think it's looking really nice under my eyes uh, it's making the area neater uh, but not extremely white or gray so now I'm using shade number seven as my contouring stick it's dark but it's not too dark so which is good because I'll be able to blend it nicely yeah it has blended in really well I think the base is done I'll just quickly set it with powder so for powder I'm using Nykaa's uh, number 4 cozy chestnut and I think it's a good match I have tried Nykaa Skin Genius powders and before as well and I really like the formula. It is a bit powdery but it doesn't make my face look cakey at all. I have dry skin so if I apply too much powder my face looks a bit cakey but with this one I haven't faced that issue. The powder is done next up we have blush. And I have Nykaa Get Cheeky Blush Duo number 2. There are two shades. One is pink, one is plum. So I'm going to take the plum color. Tap off the excess and... So I have used the uh, blush duo from Nykaa before as well. But um, most of the times I end up using only one shade because the other shade is generally very light for my skin tone. Even now this plum shade is okay, it's not too amazing and uh, if I mix both I might get some other color but the color would not show up on me because the other shade, the pink shade here is pretty light. So I have to go back to the pan to build up the color otherwise the color won't even show up on my face. For brows I have Nykaa Brow Girl Brow Definer in Bewitched Chestnut. 
So this product has brow pencil on one end and other end has spoolie. I really prefer such kind of applicators because then you do not have to carry a separate spoolie brush with you. You can just use one product and you are good to go. So I'm going to take the help of the mirror here. I'm grooming my brows myself at home so I'm still scared to go to the salon and get them threaded nicely. Have you guys started going to salon or you are still waiting for things to become a bit better? I'm seriously scared and because of this reason only I might not even go to my brother's place this Rakhi. He lives in Delhi only and uh, just 35 kilometers away but you know things are bad my parents are old and uh, there is no point in taking risk you know you live for another year and you enjoy Rakhi um, in a better way I see I have not decided yet how are you guys going to celebrate Rakhi are you guys visiting your parents house how you are going to do it it's such a sad year Every celebration, be it a birthday or uh, any other festival, makes us even more sad and uh, disappointed. After marriage, I have spent every Rakhi at my mom's place. Rakhi and Holi, these are two festivals I celebrate at my mom's house. During Holi this year, it was still better, but now. Uh, so brows are done and I'm actually really loving my brows. Uh, my brows are looking pretty nice and they are looking nice and feathery and I'm also loving the formula here and I'm also loving the fact that I have not got my brows threaded and she hasn't ruined them on the name of shaping them. You know how beauticians are. Oh ma'am, last time I made my brows. Oh ma'am, she made a lot of hair from here. Oh, she made a lot of hair from here. I go to the same parlor every month and uh, the parlor has uh, different different beauticians so uh, sometimes a new beautician comes in and she is like oh ma'am aapko ye brow to bahut patla ho gaya hai aapne kaha se banwaya tha mai bolungi maine yahi se banwaya tha and uske baad aisa laga speechless it's so funny but it always happens they, they remove one from here they remove from from here karte 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 you end up with like a uh, sperm brows so yeah, that's, that was a lot of rant. But I'm really happy with how my uh, brows are looking. Now that our brows are done, base makeup is done, we will quickly move on to eyes. So these are the two eyeshadow palettes I have from Nykaa. So both of them have uh, purple tones. So they look almost the same. So th this one is Just Wink in Crushed Berries. And this one is Eyes On Me. Eyes on me palette but I'm going to use this one today because I personally like this one more than this one you can see there are a lot of lighter shades here but this one is pretty versatile and I also love the fact that it has mirror here I'm going to do a rosy hued makeup look today so first I'm going to take this color and I'm going to apply it in the crease so as you can see the color payoff is pretty nice so the, I think the transition color is done Next I'm going to take this color which is I think a shade darker than the one I've used right now and apply it on my outer V. Next I'm taking this dark brown and applying it on the outer corners. Now I'm going to take this color on my fingertips and I'm using a brush to apply it neatly so I think the eye makeup is looking very nice and uh, I will quickly move on to the eyeliner part I have two options here one is Nykaa gel liner another one is their kajal I'm going to use the kajal today because I really want a smudged look I do not want a neatly defined wing liner so I'm going to apply this very close to my lash line and then blend it out a little
So Nykaa doesn't really have a mascara, so I'm going to use a mascara from other brand off camera and come back and do the lips and finish the look. I've done my mascara and I think the eye makeup and everything else looks pretty nice. So from Nykaa, I have one of their famous lip crayons. This is in the shade Jade Rose. This is a new purchase and this is the color. It's like a muted rose color. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I personally really like how the makeup has turned out and uh, everything about this makeup look is nice. How in the end, the lipstick and the eye makeup and everything else is working really in sync. So uh, when it comes to Nykaa's makeup products, I personally really enjoyed all of them. I can't really say which product I did not like. I love the eyeshadow palette. Their brow pencil which I used for the first time is fantastic. The Kajol I am using for the third, second time today and it's really good. The foundation is my all time favorite foundation. Powder is good. The contour stick and the, the stick foundation did really well under my eyes and uh, con for contouring my face. Under my eyes it has not uh, creased. I cannot see any creasing. I think the whole makeup look looks really nice. So yeah, I think that was about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe and I'll see you very very soon in my next video. Till then, bye.